Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's look, I'm going to show you my quick and easy look using the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Palette Volume 1. It looks like this. I did just get called in to work, so I do have to get going. They asked if I would come in a little bit earlier and, you know, well, that's, I'm down for that because I'm always down to get a little bit more cash. So if you're interested in seeing the look that I create, then just keep watching. Um, also, also subscribe to my channel because, you know. Okay. I've already primed my eyelids. I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair and I set it with the ColourPop No Filter Translucent Powder. First, I'm going to take my butter bronzer on my fluffy blending brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to blend that into the crease just to start us off with a lighter transition shade. None of the transition shades in the palette are quite light enough for my liking. So we'll start out with this one. The first shade that I'm going to take is Coco Taxi on the same brush, just very lightly. And blend that into the crease and up and out. Next, I'm going to take Cafecito on this tapered blending brush from Elizabeth Mott. I got that in my July Ipsy, which I'll link up here. I'm going to focus that right in the crease and towards the outer portion of the eye. I'm so stressed. So stressed. So that's how she's looking blended. These eyeshadows blend beautifully. And then on this flat brush from BH Cosmetics, I'm going to take the shade El Malecon. It's just a beautiful, sparkly, shimmery green. And I'm going to pop that right in the inner portion of the eye. It's such a pretty color. I mean, there is a lot of glitter fallout from these shadows, just a fair warning, which is why I do my eyes before I do my foundation, because I don't want to have glitter all over my foundation, as much as we love glitter. And then blend everything together, up and out. Look at my ponytail! This may be one of the last times you see me with this hair. <laughs> On the kind of packing side of this Luxie brush from one of my first Ipsies, we're gonna take the shade Celia. And we're gonna put that right on the outer corner of the eye. I'm gonna take that ever so lightly into the inner part of the eye too. Kind of just give us a really soft halo eye. And I've got El Melecon, that green shade on a brush. I'm going to just get it wet with some Make It Last spray from Milani. I just want it to pop just a little bit more in the inner, right in the middle of the lid. That's kind of where we're at right now. Because I want to get get to work as early as I can, I don't know if I'm going to do 
liner today because that just takes too much time for me and I like doing just my my natural lashes I think my natural lashes are pretty so I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face well I'm gonna do like my foundation and all of that nonsense and then I'll be back we'll finish up the under eye and then we'll be done foundation and concealer is set I'm just gonna dust off the powder that I've had on my under eye And then I still have powder on my nose and my chin, baking them, I suppose. And for the under eye, I'm gonna go back in with Coco Taxi. Light, light, lightly, very lightly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do eyeliner. If I hurry, I will have time. And then Cafecito, the dark chocolatey brown fudgy color. And then a little bit of Celia, the beautiful blue, light blue glitter. Just to blend on the outer corner together. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to take La Costa on this kind of wedge brush from e.l.f. I think it's their base shadow brush or eyeshadow brush. Very generic. You can use it for whatever you want. And then a little bit on the inner corner as well. Ow! I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Okay everybody, that's this look done. I've got to get to work. <laughs> I am running a little late, gotta go throw on some pants and stuff. And I did throw on some liner with it and I think it looks, I think it looks pretty. And the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Bossy is what is on my lips. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit subscribe before you go and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Today's video, I'm going to show you my quick look using the Almar Cosmetics Serena de Calibre Cali <laughs> You are gone yet, come on, work, come on, we got to wake up like we did when we were kids. <laughs> wow, wow. Did I maybe just take a picture of myself and we're not even in focus? Yeah. And if you try to find